Canelo Alvarez, Gennady Golovkin, the actual fight on this fall schedule. These two are knockout machines. When you have two fighters who fight so similarly, what can be the difference maker? I get the prize. I get to hang out with you guys here. <laughs> so I'm doing okay. Bonus of not having the ticket. But the thing is, if you... A physical change. He's a lot bulkier than the one we have seen. That scares it, me. It does scare you. Why does it scare because you? Because he's the smaller guy. You know, nothing decides that. God, genetics, and your parents decide who's the bigger, smaller guy. Golovkin's still the bigger guy. And counter, take the air out of the ball, use the whole ring. They're not hard to find. That means it's a good thing for the fans. De La Hoya says this is a pick -em. Of course, he's the promoter in all of this. He wants you to be a pick -em. Uh Vegas says it's Golovkin, though not by a very large margin. Who do you say? Oh, yeah, Dan. The preseason that played last week, he should be back out there in week two. The Bucks will be out there, not back out there, because, of course, they did not play week one due to the ramifications of Hurricane Irma. Jameis Winston spoke emotionally today about what that's been like. Well, they'll finally be back out there this week. Tonight, though, week two officially gets underway. It's the Texans and Bengals. And before we pick this game, anything else, Adam Schefter? I think we may see the Bengals' first-round draft pick, John Ross, play tonight, which would be oh. an interesting little twist for the Bengals. All right, and a rookie. That he knew this day was coming, and when that first game happens, with when Watson starts, this is what I'll do with him. So he maybe he's implementing it a little bit earlier than usual, but I just think he's ready, and that defense of the Texans is going to make some plays. You know, the problem with my pick is that I absolutely agree with you. I don't feel altogether well, I'm confident. I'm very convincing, aren't I? I well, yes. I, you know, I had this thought. I was 2-0 on Monday. I don't feel as good about this, but I just don't see the Bengals to take the Ezekiel Elliott case to federal appeals court in New Orleans if there's no ruling by today on the league's appeal of the injunction that is allowing Elliott to play while the legal proceedings continue. Our NFL analyst Herm Edwards is with us. And coach, if you are the leader of the Cowboys, how are you keeping this team focused while all this Ezekiel Elliott news cycle is going on? Well, we saw it uh, 